What's up guys, I Apple Tuber here and today I have a great news for you guys. iOS 10.2 is finally jailbroken and you can have a jailbreak for iOS 10.2. But do note guys, it only works for iPhone 6s, iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone SE, iPad Pro for the time being. And just to show you guys, and that is why I'm using the iPhone 6s Plus for this tutorial. Since my other iPhone, which is right here, this iPhone, is the iPhone 7 and that cannot be jailbroken unfortunately as of right now. And just to show you guys that I'm actually running on iOS 10.2 on my device, let me go to settings, general, about, and here as you can see guys, iOS 10.2 is the firmware on this device. I was actually happy to keep it on iOS 10.2 since iOS 10.2.1 is out and that is not jailbroken. So that means the best place to actually stay is on iOS 10.2 if you want to jailbreak your iPhone 6s Plus and other devices which I've already mentioned. And if you're wondering what will happen to the other devices like the iPads and all those other devices, iPhone 6 and all those, those will actually be jailbroken very soon. As Lucas said, the support for them will be out very soon as well. But for the iPhone 7s, unfortunately, iOS 10.1.1 is the only solution. Okay guys, just to let you guys know about this, you do need iTunes on your computer, Mac or Windows, doesn't matter. And make sure to go ahead and connect your device using the cable, which always comes with your devices. And now, get onto your computer and let me show you guys how to jailbreak your device. Okay guys, now once you're onto your computer, Windows or Mac doesn't matter as I have already mentioned. You want to click on the link on the description. The first thing will take you to CD Impactor. So the CD Impactor can be downloaded for Windows and Mac as I already mentioned. And once again guys, make sure to have iTunes on your device or else your device will not be recognized. So once you have that, you want to go ahead and click on Windows. If you have Windows or Mac, this computer is on Windows, so let's click on Windows. Then it will ask you to save it and I already have it so I'm not going to save it. And there's going to be the second link in the description which will be the jailbreak. So as you can see guys here it is beta 1 for the iPhone 6s SE iPad Pro as I have already mentioned. So you want to click on code if you want to go ahead and install the whole package. But if you just want to install the IPA you want to go back and you want to click on the IPA CD Impactor. Once you click that you want to click on save and it will go ahead and save it on your device very quickly. As I already have this as well let me go ahead and cancel that and let me just go ahead and minimize that and here as you can see CD Impactor with the IPA file. So with CD Impactor it's going to be in a zip folder so make sure that you have WinRAR on your Windows. For Mac this will not be the issue so you want to go ahead and WinRAR if you already have it click on extract to, to Impactor. That option will take you right here as you can see here is the file. Get it here, go ahead and open it, go ahead and open impactor.exe file and wait for the impactor right here as you can see guys. Once that is done, you just want to go ahead and get this IPA file, drag it right here guys, drop it, enter your Apple ID and password and it will go ahead and sign the IPA. Let me go ahead and enter my Apple ID and password. Okay guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead and entered my Apple ID and password. Then this will pop up on your device, Apple developer warning. You want to click on OK. Don't worry about that. Click on OK. Signing the IPA. And here as you can see guys, on my device, it has gone ahead and installed the IPA file here. As you can see, here is the app. So you want to click on this is an untrusted enterprise developer. Click on cancel. So go back to the place where your setting is. Go to settings general scroll down to profile and device management or device management as you can see here click on device management click on the developer app with your apple id here as you can see click on trust trust and now you guys are good to go go back to the application click on it and it will go ahead and open for you guys without any issues click on okay if that pops up okay guys so just to let you guys know i'm not going to jailbreak this device but if you want to do you want to click on go and then it will say in a pop-up that it storage is full, click on done and once that it says it will work 100%. If it doesn't guys, repeat this process one more time, click on go and eventually you will finally have CD on your device. So the reason I'm actually not jailbreaking this device is because it's not 100% stable as of right now, it's mostly for developers. But once the full version is out, I'm actually going to show you guys a full new video with everything to be explained as well. So guys, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I hope that you guys were able to get CD onto your device and enjoy your jailbreak on your iOS 10.2 devices. As I already mentioned, more devices support will be out very soon. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did guys, please drop a thumbs up for the video. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family who did want to jailbreak the device and were waiting for this video. So go ahead and share it with them. Also, don't forget to have your post notification turned on to never miss videos. Have a great day guys. I Apple Tuber here signing off.